What's up, what's up, people? HBAC World. Anybody that's looking to get in this industry, uh, like I say, I'm making this blog, YouTube videos, you know, just for people that are interested and love doing HBAC work. This video here pretty much about there's so many things in HBAC, you know. Uh, I'm talking about you got so many different components, you know. Cause I'm in co commercial HVAC, so you got to be kind of like way around it. I always say HVAC, but you got to add the R2. Right outside this room here, I'm doing a refrigeration uh, uh, troubleshoot. I had a guy come out here yesterday, started the troubleshoot. He said he had internal overload, so uh, I came back, checked the compressor, make sure all that's good. I got my gauges hooked up now, put the fire up and monitor it and uh, trying to see what it's doing. But uh, as you can see, like these VFDs right here, uh, various fan speeds, a bit cooling tower. I'm gonna show you right here on the outside. This is air conditioner right here. I mean, you gotta pretty much know a lot of things. You know, some people in HVAC, they specialize in chillers. Some uh, specialize in package unit or split system. Some just do uh, refrigeration work. But me, myself, I do controls. I do, I try to, pretty much do it all. Work on Aon units, package units, VFDs. I took courses, you know, for ABB VFD drives. Uh, <clears throat> I'm familiar, I can, I can pretty much maneuver around any piece of equipment. Uh, I'm not saying any like I'm an expert of any of it, but a lot of times you gotta get tech support on a lot of like Libra unit for IT rooms and stuff like that. It's best to you know call tech support, but like I said, I can do controls. I know how to navigate through the control system. I don't know how to program anything like that. I'm familiar with it, but I can't just go in there and program stuff. But um, like I said, I'll try to be aware around it. So <clears throat> like I say, them all the hours that I put in. So if my supervisor, ser service man, or something like that uh, need a go-to guy, I can go out there and at least get it started or whatever. But I change compressors out, change unit, I can get installs, uh, troubleshoot, you know, work my way around. But it's loud out here, so I'm probably just gonna set up the uh, camera. Uh, you can see, because it's a two-story building also, so uh, outside is an old rack system, uh, refrigeration system. So I'm not gonna, you know, be going back and forth. I'm gonna be a little short video, I'll probably post it up. It show you this old rack system got like eight compressors on it, four freezers, and four coolers. But uh, let's step outside and see what we got. Big cooling tower right there. This is the rack system here, though. This is what I'm working on. See how old it is, though. See all the repairs. We had to fix throughout the years. It's a 1993 system. This is the one I'm working on right here. Cooler, 407C. I'm gonna fire this one up. This freezer right here, pulling the vacuum on it right now. It just, it just had a uh, compressor installed, put, put new timers in it. But it had the old, old uh, defrost timers on it.
try to take a walk on the inside. There's a cooling tower. I think that compressor flooded out. Got both to it, but it's not turning on. Battery about to go dead. And I'll probably make a part two to your update on this. But it's not turning on, I got both to it. So I think this compressor might be flooded out. Shout out to the install person, but like I say, it's a 1993 system. They need to, uh, I need to replace this whole thing, to be honest with you. You can see it, so, I, so many repairs been uh, done with this system throughout the years. And this change not compressing, it's not gonna work. Uh, but that's what they want to do.